rolling out the red carpet this week in Sharon, Hollywood style. A small film is ready to premiere. It was recorded in Sharon. First News reporter Hannah Erdman shares details of the project and how the art scene continues to flourish downtown. Another installment of Second Saturdays is this weekend in Sharon. The monthly event features several local artists. It's gained popularity, which means one thing. The arts are booming here in downtown Sharon, and what better way to celebrate the arts than to show a film that was shot right here in the city. The George A. Romero Foundation teamed up with writer and director Gene Blair in the production of the short film Stay. The cast and its story inclusive to those with special needs and various disabilities. It was a story Gene wanted to tell, but in the right way. I, for 18 years, I worked with individuals with special needs. And for the last, like, seven of it, I taught them filmmaking. And I was always wrestling with, you know, there, there's got to be a way to tell the story using these feelings that I'm feeling, working and doing with what I'm doing. The screening will be the nightcap of Second Saturday, where the arts will be celebrated all day long. And the arts are what brings people together. Yeah. I think a lot of the arts rejuvenation programs are set forth because your local artists will start to put forth your culture, and that's what you want to present, and that's what you want to celebrate. And that is a sentiment shared with Gene, a father and grandfather. He is excited to see the arts growing in an unexpected place. To know that they're going to be able to explore painting, pottery, filmmaking, photography, music, acting in Sharon instead of having to relocate to New York or L.A., I mean, that, that's a great feeling. You can see Stay this Saturday at the Block in downtown Sharon. This is a free event. Seating will be first come, first serve. Reporting in downtown Sharon, Hannah Erdman, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.